we do have to mention my best friend's wedding because yeah. it was kind of like a big start for you. I mean, you had done a lot of stuff. Yeah. And you mean you came out here, you weren't here but three months, you had a little contract, you came out to Los Angeles and you started booking things. It, yeah. And and life started happening and it just and it kind of just took off from there, didn't it? Yes. I had uh, I had um including right after the release of Best Friend's Wedding, I had like any other actor very slow times um at different periods. Um um but a really unusually fast start. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh different have way of pe people viewing things. Uh, the first part I had was a lead in a TV movie called um Two Young People when we shot it, but it was on CBS on Sunday night called Sin of Innocence. Sin of Innocence. Yeah. And that night, like 15 million people watched it because there are only three channels. Wow. And so you're suddenly an actor. Yeah. Not like now where you got to piece together a couple things or hope somebody saw your web show or even that nice popular show that's on a thing that you don't watch that and you don't know who that or actor is. Or I have a is. show on Fluby. It's a great show. No one sees it. Well, that's it. what I mean. Yeah. Nothing like this. Yeah. So that it started itself. That choice, that producer choosing me to play that role is who did you know, determine her name is Renee Valente. Yeah. And they cast me as Bill Bixby's son and Dee Wallace. I love, she was on the podcast. I oh, love Dee Wallace. God, I, work, I, I, I keep love on, I wanna, her. I keep wanting to put her, put her in. I have an idea for her. She's so brilliant and such a oh, wonderful woman. Oh my God. Yeah. I was so blessed. They took me, I was 22 playing 17, 16 maybe. And they got married in their, their, son and their and her daughter are now suddenly in the same house and the hormonal teenagers fall in love it's a beautiful story very like culturally complicated at yes, the time I, right even yeah. just like premarital relations even showing teenagers in bed together wasn't at that something time you saw had to be passed way up through lawyers up and through the um, what do they call standards and practices and all yeah. that so it's really specific at those times oh one thing, I guess I've mentioned it once, but in another TV movie, Daddy, a couple of years later, staggeringly profound to my career, how many people saw it, how it turned into things. That was another TV movie, like a Sunday night thing when you didn't have anything else to watch. So these things led up to... Yeah. And did you audition yes. for My Best Friend's Wedding? I did, but I wanted to make sure everyone knows that I was the first person on network television to be allowed to hold a condom. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, otherwise it was gonna be missed if I didn't tell people that. There's probably a couple of lawyers, you think they're still alive that had to okay it, that the teen kids said, but we're gonna be safe. And then there's an insert close up in that show that had to be allowed like through the powers that be that the kid could hold a condom. So that was me. I was in. <laughs> I was in Vegas. <laughs> Speaking of condoms. Speaking, I was going to say, and, oh, no. No, I was in Vegas, and I remember I was at this, um, <laughs> I, I didn't care. I had a fanny pack, Fucking and hilarious. I'm walking around with my buddy, and this prostitute comes up to me, and she goes, she goes, what are you doing? And I go, oh, nothing. I go, I got my fanny pack. She goes, what's in your fanny pack? And I go, Pro money. Prophylactics. Oh. She goes, what's that? I go, rubbers. She goes, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was my rubber story. It just cracked me up. Know, why rubbers? Why did that? Why I didn't did that have rubbers term in go there? Away, I just yeah. thought it was funny to why, say that. Why did that term? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get some prophylactics? Just sounds a little bit. No, for but sure. But anyway, you you auditioned for how many times for my best friend's wedding? My recollection is that it was once. But what I remember about it is... um. They were even like one of those where there's a couple of guys there, right? And Who's I there? Go in Who's there? And I made <laughs> eye contact with Julia Roberts. And I thought, oh, we're friends. That's what happened. That's what happened in my brain. Really? Yeah. You went I, in I, I, like everyone, I was already taken with her because of even Mystic Pizza. Or, um, I didn't see a uh, Pretty Richard Woman Gear movie until later. I hadn't seen that when I first. Uh, right first met julia so um yeah but i didn't know i was gonna get it or anything i definitely so there was no way to calculate what that movie was to become what it's still becoming as we speak it's still alive and you know like virulent incredible but i did know it was a big movie to catch even though i'd been in 
you know, young lead or supporting parts in a yeah. number of studio movies, whether it's Copycat or uh, what's the one I'm flashing a point in a return. Yeah. All those preceded Best Friends Wedding. So I was already in the studio stack, but I wasn't leading those movies. So. When you see her in the room, that moment, is it unlike any other, is, is it just like another a beautiful woman who's there sitting there? Or does she sort of like, I, I, I'll give you an example of what I'm trying to say. Um, name drop but i was at carrie fisher's birthday party and she goes i want to introduce you to nicole kidman and i go nicole kidman would not want anything to do with me she goes no no no. she loves hockey i want you to meet her <laughs> so i'm sitting at this table and i see carrie coming up going up to nicole kidman and looking at me and going nice guy you know and i look at her and it's like suddenly the room lit her like she had her own lighting. She she walked in and I was like, oh my God, I've never seen a movie star. That is a movie star. Right. She was just, and it, I was floored. Yes. And she was really cool and all that. But it when you see Julia Roberts, yes. is it the same feel? Yes. It is. Like the like the light warms up in that side of it. I yeah. walked in and she's over there. I can picture the physicality of it. Director, maybe one producer, casting director here, small room. And like, so you come and you scan real quick and you turn and you have your breath taken away. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> but it wasn't, yeah, it was a real thing. It felt like it. It proved to be true as we're still friends now. But you, so you can do that, you know, the most famous one. It's really how Mario Puzo wrote it. That's so beautiful. When Michael sees Apollonia. Wow. <laughs> It's a. It's written in Italian. Maybe there's a word for the lightning bolt. Um, I think no. I so know. people know that story, right? But sometimes you just flash on somebody. Maybe like me and Skeet, you just see a guy and you say, <laughs> "That's my pal." <laughs> That's We're it. right away bu buddies. You know what I mean? I'm so lucky to describe that. I hope for your listeners that you have your eye out for that and you can see people that you yeah. know you're immediately going to mess with.